Welcome teachers, this is Teacher Nika once again. If you are new to my channel, kindly click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my previous and future vlogs. In today's vlog, we are going to talk about Native Camp application process. So in my previous vlog, I've already explained what are the following steps or tips that you should do during your demonstration here in Native Camp. Now I'm going to share with you guys the teaching application or the ESL application process. So if you are interested in applying here in Native Camp, these are the following things that you need to know about Native Camp. And now let's start with our today's video. Without further ado, let's begin. Become an online English teacher here in Native Camp. These are your things you must remember to do. First is go to the description box. Click the link for application process because here in Native Camp, it is a must that you are, um, let's say, referred to by the teacher. Because if you are not referred by other teachers, you will not receive an incentive. There is an incentive that I will tell you about later on in this video that you will enjoy if you are referred to by a teacher here in Native Camp. But let's say you are already an applicant in Native Camp, but you want to know more about Native Camp. Continue watching the video. I will explain further about Native Camp. Let's start with, okay, once you click the link, you will click apply. Okay, you will click apply now. And then once you click apply now, you will proceed to the, uh, this information. Okay, so let's say you already or before you click the apply now you want to know what are the following requirements so the following requirements is at least 18 years old so let's say fresh graduates from senior high school are okay to apply here in native camp it is fine next teaching experience is not required as stated in the website but recently based on my applicant or uh, based on the other applicants that i have conversation with they told me that it is a must already to have teaching experience you need to have at least three months of teaching experience here in native camp therefore let's say you were able to teach uh let's say privately with your neighbor it's already good you may say that you have teaching private teaching experience for at least three months okay and then let's say you have an ojt let's say on the job trainings for college you were able to handle students for three months that's good enough okay three months esl or face-to-face -face teaching experience are good even a private tutor, like uh, 1v1, okay, 1v1 type of class, it's already good. Next, laptop and PC with webcam. Okay, laptop or PC with a webcam is an important device that you must have here in Native Camp. Because again, here in Native Camp, we do not already company doesn't allow teachers to use their cell phones or tablets during the actual classes okay you may use your tablet or cell phone for setting up your schedule using the app provided for teachers but you cannot conduct your classes through your mobile devices only laptop and pc can handle or can conduct classes here in native camp now, your headset, it must be uh, with microphone or at least a noise-canceling headset, okay? It must have a noise-canceling feature. And, of course, a common question by the applicants is that, do we need to have already the headset? Yes, it is a must for you to have already the headset, okay? Same as this icon. You must have the same headset, and there is actually cheaper ones on Shopee or Lazada. You may purchase one from those, um, let's say, on those uh, Shopee links. <laughs> Shopee links and Lazada links, something like that. You may purchase there. They are, let's say, very 
uh, cheap start for your um, starting or a starting uh, headset or during your classes. Okay, as a new teacher, sim uh, very. It is not important for you to have already the Jabra type of headset, the very expensive headsets. You may use those what uh, those headsets that are available online, simple headsets. But please, okay, but please do not use the wired headset which we use on our phone. So don't use those. Okay, kindly use this headset that this girl is using, something like that. Okay, next, stable uh, and quick internet connection. Make sure that you have a stable internet connection because during your system check, they will also check that and to avoid complaints for, uh, from our students. Um, the minimum required is 2 Mbps, so you may check your speed or you may have your speed test before your classes or before your final demo just to make sure that you reach the 2 Mbps. Next. Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, those are the following apps that you need to have on your laptop or on your PC. And Native Camp only allows these three types of website, or let's say three apps that you may use only for uh, access or for access, accessing, 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 <laughs> accessing this website you may only access the website through google chrome mozilla or firefox mozilla firefox okay so those are the only website edge i think some of the other teachers use microsoft edge but yeah it's also good but uh, native camp encourage teachers to only use this too okay google chrome or mozilla firefox next these are the following benefits that you may enjoy here in native camp first is the working hours flexible working hours of 24 7 you may have your classes graveyard shift early in the morning late at night anytime you want as long as you have stable internet connection a quiet environment and a plain white background Okay, because it's simple here in Native Camp, they keep it simple, but just make sure that you have those three important things available your laptop, your headset, and your plain white background. And of course, I'm sorry, I didn't count the internet connection. Of course, also the internet connection. Next, work from home. So another benefit here in Native Camp is that you can work from home. Um, you may wear comfortable shirt that you want because you're only at home. You no need to wear formal attire. Especially here in the Philippines, it's extremely hot within terms to the weather. So um if you are working from home you may simply wear comfortable clothes it's already good but during your demo let's be formal okay just on your final demo but during your actual classes you may wear wear or <laughs> you may yeah you may wear shirts okay that's good enough next Performance-based salary. Actually, this one is a double-edged sword. Double-edged sword because first, you may have performance-based salary based on how hardworking you are. But the, at the same time, if you are very lazy or you didn't give your best during your, dis your classes, negative feedback from students, you will have the tendency to or you will have the tendency of lesser students let's say you will have lesser students because of these reasons and that reason because you're very lazy you only had classes for two or, or two you only set classes for two time slots per day so of course you will get get paid for two slots only so it depends especially on your performance double-edged sword next bonuses based on your performance also so there are bonuses that once you're a hard-working teacher or a hard-working teacher here in native camp you will earn that incentive later on i will explain it to you next the teaching experience is 
required for teaching experience as i said once again at least three months of teaching experience and once you let's say you only have three months of teaching experience and you think it is not enough for you to fit the teaching environment or the let's say if you want to go abroad and teach abroad this is a great practice for you once you apply or work here in native camp because you will have already the basic skills in handling your class the class flow here is actually very easy to understand and uh it will also help you in your future demonstration in an actual application there are some parts but not everything because you cannot ask your student in an actual demonstration in a face-to-face -face that they can hear you or see you but at least the basic foundation they can help you here in native camp to build that up for your future applications but staying here in native camp is very uh is encouraging okay because i am already here in native camp for almost three years ongoing four years yeah here in native camp and it's been a it's been a while it's a long stay here in native camp but i still stayed here under um compared to other esl companies because they are teacher friendly compared to other esl companies that i have applied or worked with next we have the um apps okay this is the app the mobile device that or the mobile app that we can use as teachers once you are um let's say you are already welcomed as part of native camp therefore you will download this app for you to have a convenient way of setting up your schedule and also checking your time slot okay next we have here the application process so once you apply here in native camp once you click the link down below our description box you will need to click sign up once you click sign up uh, fill in your email and your um, password that you want to and then uh, click or click confirm and then you will receive a confirmation email and after you click the confirmation email click the blue link provided there you will proceed to the basic information your basic information such as your first name make sure that you spell it out correctly then your middle name if you don't have one it's okay last name please spell it out correctly and your last name must be the same last name that you have on your ids or the id that you will provide here in native camp next the country name common question of filipino applicants is that there is no philippines in the country so if there's no philippines of course you need to find the word filipino so there are there is no philippines here in this application i don't know why but kindly click the filipino as our country name it's okay you are still considered um your country is still philippines don't worry about that so just click filipino okay they, because they will see uh description or they will just need to know or they just want to know if you're a filipino teacher or not okay so just click filipino or if you're from america find america or from other countries find it there and then your time zone the time zone make sure that it is correct or it match your country because if let's say your country is in the philippines but your time zone is in japan time zone in japan or time zone in america that would be a huge problem when you had your final demonstration because the available schedule there is not fit on your or an hour time zone at the same time during your actual classes if your student want to set or book classes with you um if your schedule or your schedule is or your time zone is scheduled for or it is set on american time zone or let's say japanese japan time zone therefore um your student will set up in that time zone they will book on that time zone you will not be able to en enter that class because it's a completely different time zone to your place so just make sure that it is correct next confirm everything okay confirm the spelling the country and the, especially the time zone
Next, let's proceed with the application process. For application process, you may finish this one two to three weeks. But way back before, I was able to finish this one for about three days because that time there's only a few applicants. But now here in Native Camp, there's a lot of applicants. You have a lot of competitors. Therefore, it may last for two to three weeks. My last applicant, um, I'm sorry about the dogs. Uh, my last applicant, uh, he was able to finish his application in about one week because um, the result of the final demonstration, he needs to wait for three days. So it's okay. It, you will still receive an email even if you pass or fail the, the final demo. But let's do our best and pass the demo, okay? Next, let's have here... Okay, sorry about the pop-ups because I am recording on my phone. Now, let's proceed with the native camp application process. Let's start with the first step, which is the English proficiency test. For English proficiency test, you need to have your grammar checked, a few situational questions on how you're going to handle the student. For example, Brian, who is a five-year-old student who cannot count or read the alphabet, how will you do? Or how will you handle that situation? The student is not paying attention. How will you handle that situation? And don't worry, it is a multiple choice question. Just make sure that you have a stable internet connection during your assessment and you need to pass at least 80 per on the 80% rate, okay? The passing rate is 80%. And then it is a 40 uh, 40 question item, okay? So you have 40 items to, to pass, okay? 40 questions to answer and it is multiple choice. So very easy. You may pass this one uh, easily because it's multiple choice as long as you have basic um, gr let's say basic grammar knowledge and at the same time uh, it is time limited it w you will only be able to answer your assessment for 20 minutes okay you may take this test only once again you can only take this once so make sure that you have a stable internet connection again if you take this test once and let's say you failed sadly you will have to wait for six months to take the test once again so let's just avoid that one let's avoid failing make sure that you pass the test Next, let's say you already passed the test. Luckily, yay! Now, let's proceed to the system check. For the system check, okay, for the system check, make sure that you have the following. Again, AI will be the one to check your system, okay? Or sometimes there is someone who will enter your class or your, yeah, your time for system check. And they will conduct here the interview. They will ask you if you have teaching experience, how are you able to handle this kind of situation with your student, and etc. Okay? So just make sure that you have laptop or PC with webcam. Make sure that your webcam is clear. Okay? It's HD. It's clear. Like you can see yourself clearly, and your student may see you clearly too. Now, with the headset, it must have microphone, okay? So as I, I, as you can see in that previous picture that we had on the first page, make sure that you have the same headset and a stable internet connection with a minimum of 2 Mbps. The interview or interviewer may ask you to provide an, a speed test link and send it to him or her. So make sure that you have this 2 Mbps, at least that one. And then, uh, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox is important. You must have that because that's the only um, app that you can use in, here in Native Cam once you open it on your PC or laptop. And it will be easier for you to multi-tab. Next, a plain background. Let's avoid dark areas like with shadows. Let's avoid that. And messy background like let's say you have bookshelf on your back. Let's avoid that one. Let's just have a plain white background. It is okay to have plain other colors but the advised color really is plain white background. Next, let's have the... Okay, let's say you're done with your English proficiency 
test and your system check. Now, let's proceed to the learning kit. Now, for the learning kit, this is a sample lesson that you will have in your demo. And this is provided with an attached video for you to um, watch and also take notes of the advice of the other teachers provided there because it will also help you in the future once you had your final demo and your actual class. Remember to take note and take note of how the teacher handled the class, specifically the two lesson because you are provided with two sample lesson those two sample lesson is not the you are not allowed to pick a lesson okay your student will be the one to pick the lesson therefore you need to make sure that you can um let's say you can familiarize yourself with the class flow of that two sample lessons don't worry because those sample lessons have videos itself so you can be guided also on how to handle that next uh is that this is the lesson that you will have again for your demo lesson next let's say you're done with your learning kit you are able to take notes you are familiar with the class flow and you see yourself ready for the demo lesson once you are ready for the demo lesson click standby mode that you will see in here click standby mode then start the demo lesson again remember that once you click the start demo lesson you will automatically have someone enter your class it will be your pretend student okay so even though it's a pretend student make sure that you handle it the same way you will handle your actual class you must be ready you must be ready mentally physically and emotionally so let's i know it's kind once we are in our final demo we feel anxious nervous but let's just um put our anxiousness nervousness into a smile because only smile can carry all throughout your lesson it is the only way that you can handle your nervousness anxiety char <laughs> your nervousness throughout the discussion so just smile to hide all those anxiety or let's say all those nervousness now you may take your demo lesson at least three times so i advise you not to take it three times take it at at least once make sure that you, once you click standby mode start demo lesson make sure that you are really ready to take it once okay you can pass this as long as you remember the class flow if you don't know the class flow check again my description box i will paste there the tips on the final demo okay next you cannot set your demo schedule. You can only see most of the convenient time to attend your demo. You will see in here, there's a box that will present you the time based on your time zone. That's why time zone is very important. It will present you the time or the availability of the schedule for demo lesson, which one is the most convenient one. Here in the Philippines, the most convenient one is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. But there are still lucky teachers who can conduct their demo lesson during 9 p.m. But the best time is 6 to 8 p.m. Next, um, let's have here, remember to take note from your learning kit. So those notes that you had on your learning kit, like for example, remember to ask your student to repeat after you three times on the review part. So you take note of that. Then you may apply it during your demo so that you will not forget. Okay. And other notes from the previous video on the learning kit, you may apply it here in your demo lesson. Now, let's say you pass the demo lesson. The demo lesson result, will you will receive that one in about two or three days. Okay, sorry for the noise next let's have the fifth step the quiz for the quiz this is the only task that you will be assessed regarding your familiarity with the following like native camp the situation that you may possibly encounter in class the do's and don'ts in class your availability so very basic questions okay this is only for 10 minutes very easy next the important part 
So I think every step here in the application process is very important. But I think uh, we need to highlight the importance of account information because sometimes other teachers will provide the wrong information regarding their BPI, their bank account, or their TIN number. This can lead to issues or future problems during your payday or your the release of your salary. So let's avoid that. Make sure that you have the correct account information, such as your teacher profile. For teacher profile, make sure that you have a um, clear white background on your teacher profile. There's actually sample pictures that you will see there in the website. And then, okay. and then your teacher video introduction. Make sure that it is for 20 seconds or 30 seconds. And then it is very short introduction. Just make sure that you may attract your students in the way of your speaking and the way you smile during your video. The video is landscape, of course. Next, express something about yourself in written form. So you're going to write here other information that you aren't able to share during your video. Next, your bank account. Make sure that it is BPI or PNB account common question of the teach other teachers or the other applicants can we use the account name of our husband of our daughter sister etc parents no you are not allowed to use those bank accounts because it is not named under your name because again uh, under you rather it is not named under you yeah i'm sorry for the grammatical error if i am wrong so again, um, your bank name, it must be based on your name, okay? Not, um, it is uh, your name and that account is named after you, not from your husband. Why? Because if it is an account used to by your husband or the other people or your neighbor, it could lead to future problems of, let's say, salary during your payday. So Native Camp avoid issues, something like that, during your payday. So just make sure that you have this. Okay, let's say you pass your demo lesson. As soon as you pass your demo lesson, I encourage you to have your bank account already. Okay, because uh, you will not receive your salary unless you have these bank accounts. Next, the TIN number. For the TIN number, make sure that your TIN number is presented. You will have time to come uh, to provide this one. They will give you time, enough time to prepare your TIN number, to have your TIN number. But as much as possible, make sure to have one, okay? Because let's avoid... Um, Let's say, because here in Native Camp, if you don't have TIN number, sadly, your account will be deactivated. Okay, so it is a must that you have TIN number. Then, teacher photo album. The teacher photo album is actually uh, just like Facebook. You're going to upload pictures of yourself. These are the pictures that of you conducting classes or having your tea time, your free time, or your travels, as long as you are not wearing too revealing clothes and you are not showing a lot of skin, like for guys, you cannot be topless on that picture, okay? You cannot wear only shorts on that picture. And let's avoid harassment from the students based on your teacher photo album. So choose wisely. Next. We have here, let's say you are successfully hired in Native Camp. Yay! Now you can enjoy this following promos and incentives. Once again, no referrer, no incentives. So if you are an interested applicant, kindly click my application link so that you will have your bonuses or incentives. Now let's have here 550. Once you have successfully completed your first lesson, you completed your first lesson, you will earn 550. Please input the address or the referrer email address. So I will attach also my email address down below the description box just to make sure. And you may look back on this in your future applications or in the future if your application or your, let's say, you ask for your um, incentives on Native Camp. You may provide this email account that I have. 
Next, 2,200 bonus after completing 100 lessons in just two weeks. This is only available for those new teachers. That's why it is an important that you have my referral. Okay, if you have my referral or the other teacher's rep referral, you will have the 2,200 incentives. Next, another extra 550 incentives for completed of 100 lessons, even if it's booked or it's sudden class. There's two type of classes here in native camp the book and sudden class book class are the reserved class sudden class are the sudden class of course the student when or it is a time wherein you are on standby mode and suddenly your student enter your class next another extra 550 incentives after you completed 20 book lessons with it without cancellation per cutoff now these are the following benefits again you can open 24 7 time slot so you can have as many students you want and then infinite number of students again our students are from japan china taiwanese or from taiwan um korea and i have already encountered a student from cambodia and many more now for booked and sudden class as i have explained earlier you can control your schedule by opening your time slot anytime you want you can uh, actually have your classes in just less than a minute as long as you're a good teacher if you don't have negative feedback from other students therefore you will have a lot of students so once you open the slot immediately will someone will enter your class if you are a good teacher of course but if you're not a good teacher lazy one like me <laughs> you will only have a few st students but i had i think one or many regular students but lastly like last may i only had one less or one student because that's the only student i count i cater during the month of may because i'm very busy so i only open one slot <laughs> so again you can open as many slots you want now let's have here the students are all japanese mainly japanese beginner middle and advanced levels they are very polite and very nice but if you encounter harassment or any rude experience with your student or bad experience with your student you may simply block the student after the class okay and then the books are scripted for those student not with the experience but at least less experience you have um script okay every lesson is scripted guided with how you should handle the lesson but as for me with the way i handle my classes i don't use the script that much because i am already familiar with the flow but if you're f not yet familiar with the flow you may base on the script next the rate or the starting rate is 57 pesos for 20 minutes 25 minutes of sudden class and 80 pesos for said book class again this is just the starting rate okay this is not your permanent rate this will increase because this is not my rate anymore and i will not reveal my rate now let's have here the app this is the app okay you can schedule you can check the reservation like this now it is not this icon anymore it is the picture of your student who reserved your class and all of this is like this if it's not yet booked and if it's not available it look like this okay now the tutor incentives these are the following tutor incentives i just labeled it this one so this one is the new registration incentive if you're a new teacher only one time you will receive 2200 once you completed 100 lesson once you one you completed 100 lesson in just two weeks uh, uh actually here in native camp if you are a new teacher you will have free flag so they will um promote you as a new teacher here in native camp therefore you will have greater chances of earning the 2200 but if you are not referred by other teachers or by me you will not receive the 2200 text the list lesson the lesson incentives sorry about it the lesson incentive you will have 550 um pre period okay 550 
pesos per period. Okay, for pay period. If you have 100 sudden end book class, let's say you're done with the 2,200. Okay, let's say after a month or next month, the next month, you or you're an old teacher here in Native Camp, you will still enjoy the 550 pesos incentive because if you had 100 lesson per pay period so every 15th if you were able to conduct 100 lesson therefore you will have 550 pesos next uh, actually it is not a hundred just a hundred lesson but it is based on the minutes okay just highlight the minutes there 2500 minutes there's actually um uh logo or let's say this one is actually displayed on your dashboard. You will see if you are almost there on your target of 2,500 minutes of classes. You will see it on your dashboard. Next, introducing tutors incentives. Let's say you have a friend that you want to refer here in Native Camp. You want them to teach here in Native Camp. You may um, provi are provided with your link. They will receive 2,200. And on the other hand, you will receive 550. Next, no cancellation incentives. If you didn't cancel your 20 book lesson, only 20 book lesson, even if it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 25 minutes, you will still receive 550 as long as it is counted as 20 book lessons. Next, these are the ranking incentives for those excellent teachers. If you are one of the top 20 with the highest rating of the month, you will receive this following incentives. This is updated on May 2023. Yeah, 2023. Huh? May 2023. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And then next. Top 20 highest lesson time conducted for the month. So these are two different. So let's say you are in top 20 for the highest rating. Then you will receive this. One of the top 20 in the highest lesson time, you will receive this. Okay. Next, let's go to the pay period and pay day. There are two pays here in Native Camp. The pay period is the cutoff. The first, let's say, we the first uh, cut off is every 15th of the month and the second cut off is the end of the month and the first payday is 25th of the month and the 10th of the next month for example may 1st to may 15th you will receive your salary on may 25th and if the payday is on may 16th to may 31st you will receive your salary on june 10th simple as that now here this is the very basic rule and number one rule here in native camp you are not allowed to ask five star rating because it is a violation to the company rules once again we encourage our students to feel that they are feel satisfaction throughout the class so if they are really satisfied they will give you five star rating so we need an honest review from our students so you are not asked or you it is not your task to ask your student to give you a five-star rating. Just let them be. If they really like you, they will give you a five-star rating and extra benefits like extra gifts that can be converted into cash. Next. That's it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for listening and also checking out this video. If you are new to my channel, please, please, please click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my previous and future vlogs. I am really sorry if there is a lot of mistakes throughout my vlog. And I'm actually making this video in a rush because I'm a bit busy. But I hope you really understand. I just wanted to help. And at the same time, I hope you learned from this video. Hope to see you once again in our next vlog. Have a good day, teachers. Bye-bye.